If a game contains two items, in my case Gran Turismo Sport and it is installed on an external drive and now something is happening to this drive, you got a serious problem. Okay, let's just assume your 128 terabyte SSD is suddenly faulty and because you just recently inherited a lot of money, you're going to buy a 512 terabyte SSD from Samsung obviously and your download speed is around 100 gigabyte per second. So it shouldn't be a problem to re-download all of your 1628 PlayStation 4 games like this. So let's get real for a moment because now you have a problem. And I'm not just talking about the fact that the PlayStation 5 still thinks that all of your 1628 PlayStation 4 games are still installed. I'm talking about the fact when you're not able to re-download it and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So usually when this happened to you, your external drive is not working anymore, whatever you, yeah, you replace it or doesn't matter, you don't have the game anymore and you like to re-download it, okay? So, what you have to do is because, again, PlayStation 5 thinks it's installed, as you can see, play game, but it is not working, you need to get the download button back. And the only way how to do it is actually remove it from home. As you can see, remove from home is working here. And also you can do this if, if you have the tile still on the home screen, as you can see, remove from home, remove from home. So it will work like this and then you have your download button back, okay? So let me just show you this, just in case you never experienced this, okay? Play game, it will not work. We just remove from home, wait a little bit, come on. And now there's my download button, okay? Everything is hunky-dory, but now, as soon again contains two items and in my case it's Gran Turismo Sport, as you can see two items, we can't use the home button anymore because all what we get is actually hide all items. And even I'm going into this main folder and I have my, my subfolder here with two items and I'm not quite sure anymore, but I think this back then was a demo version and yeah, because I own both, it comes up in my library, okay? But even here, the option button is not working at all. There is nothing at this very moment. When I'm going in here, I like to play this game. As you can see, there's nothing what I can do at this very moment to remove this game from home to re-download it. And of course, now I'm lucky actually that this game is still on my home screen because I would be able to remove it from here and then I would get my download button back. But if you don't have it here anymore, Okay, so this problem is not just related to PlayStation 4 games only. I did a little bit of testing with Kina, Bridge of Spirits, and as you can see, yeah, both versions, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, are actually installed on the external drive. So in case of the PlayStation 5 version, I would need to copy it from the external drive to the internal drive, because we know PlayStation 5 games are not playable from the external drive, which is absolutely fine. And here, of course, I'm perfectly able to play this game from the external drive, PlayStation 4, no worries at all. Let me just close it and let me just remove the external drive here and then I'm showing you again the same issue as with Gran Turismo. Safely remove from PlayStation 5, we're just disconnecting this, that nothing is connected here. Let's jump back into my collection here. And now, as you can see, PlayStation 5 version is actually telling me we have to download it again, which is completely fine because it's not connected anymore. This is just correct, in my opinion. What is not correct, what is the first bug actually is that the PlayStation 5 still thinks the PlayStation 4 version is installed. It is not because we removed it actually. So, and now we have exactly the same problem. I can't start it, of course, and I can't remove it from home. Here comes just hide all items. I don't have the remove from home button or option at all. And this one is not working. So the only thing why we are, uh, we are lucky at this very moment, we have the tile here. We can actually remove it from home from the home screen. But as we know, when we 
haven't played a game for a very long time. It will just disappear here. It is gone. There is no way that I can remove this game from the home screen because it's not there. The only way is actually remove it from here like this. See, I can't play this, but I am perfectly able to remove it from home because there's just one title, one tile included, okay? Or well, one, uh, actually one item. Let's, uh, let's say like this, because we have here two items. The same with here, two items. And as soon we have two items, there is no remove from home button anymore. And of course, yeah, that's a very big problem. Okay, so at this very moment, I just hope I'm completely wrong and I'm missing something here. So please do me a favor, put some advice in the comment section what I'm doing wrong here. Because as you can see, I can't remove it from home. And if it wouldn't be here, where I can remove it from home, there's no way, no way to re-download the game. All what I have to do or what I can do actually is reset my PlayStation. And of course, that's an absolutely no-go. So put in the comment section what I'm missing. I would much appreciate it. And if this is still a bug or if this is really a bug, dear Sony, please fix this immediately because you know exactly I'm not a big fan from your storage solution if you can call it like this, because, um, yeah, I mean, this is, nah, sorry, sorry to say this. This is a serious bug. If it is a bug, if I'm missing something, I apologize in advance and I will, yeah, not do this again. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.